What's up guys, today is Friday and you know what that means, it is custom build time. And for this custom build, because the Joker is in theaters, I thought it'd be super sick to build a scooter off the Joker. I mean, he's a super sick villain. I love villain movies. Um, actually, let me know your favorite villain, because I'm kind of curious. All right, so we were in the warehouse and the first thing I'm gonna grab, because you know, this is what we like to base the scooter on, is the grip tape. Perfect, see all that color? This Joker, I'm gonna be doing it based off the old school Joker, not the new one, because there's like 20 different Jokers. You know, he's like purple and white and like green he's got a little bit of orange i literally looked on the website at every single option and it seems like the last like four fifteen thousand builds i've done have been apex decks so i'm gonna use an apex deck again and i promise my next uh build if the color's perfect i'm not gonna i probably would use it but i'm not gonna use it we got three of them i think the last one i used was like boxed so we're not gonna use the box one this time let's switch it up wow such a pretty color it's one thing I like about Apex product. You know, they are a bit pricey, but you pay for what you get because look at how like beautiful this color is. So we got the deck, we got the grip tape. I guess we got the fork. I'm not gonna use a purple fork, so we'll probably go with the green fork and like a green clamp. And since the deck has a hole in it, it's like green. Stuff like that just like flows. Apex, you know, Apex is so good and expensive, we keep it on the top shelf because it's just prime. Yes, yeah, safe. Clamps are right here. I'm not gonna waste more time to keep walking around. I'm gonna go with the Envy Clamp. That's like a pretty spot on green if I don't say so myself. This is sick. I love doing this. I'm just gonna grab a headset now since I'm here. We don't really have anything crazy colored wise. Actually white would be super sick, but we're out of white. So I'm just gonna stick with the standard old hot pink. Black one. Since he has orange in him, Probably gonna wanna use orange wheels. I know for orange, we have these root wheels in orange. We have these fusion wheels in orange and gray, but I feel like these would look a lot better. Ah, root industry Amazon grips. I mean, these are green, white, and black. They're actually pretty nice. I think these would probably match the best. And instead of barns, we will use, bam, orange barns to match the wheels. Perfect. And then we need bars, and I already know which bars to use. We had one pair left. Wait a minute. Uh-oh, I made a mistake, guys. These bars are aluminum, and I thought I was running HIC. So now we need to run SCS. Uh-oh. Well, it looks great. But it ain't gonna work great. All right, guys, so we'll be right back after this short commercial break. I thought they made a green CNC fork, but we don't even have CNC forks anymore. I think they stopped making them. That would've been perfect. They did have a green one. I'm gonna check the display case. No, we don't have it. Uh-oh. So unfortunately, we don't have any green IHC forks. Therefore, we're gonna have to go to SCS. So you guys probably at home think these builds are always perfect. Nah, this happens more than you think. All right, we're just gonna go with this one. Who did that? I don't know. That's Ephraim's writing. Now we're good to go. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. Let's go in the uh, studio and let's go ahead and get to building this thing. We finally made it back into the studio. We got the parts set up all pretty obviously as you guys can clearly tell. And I'm just gonna go over the parts really quickly before I start building this. So starting off, I have grip tape. This is the flick grip tape in the colorway of black. We have the Root Industry aluminum handlebars. The Root Grips in the Amazon colorway. Orange ODI Barnes, Apex SCS, Odyssey Black Headset, Apex Fork in green. The Root Industry Radiant Wheels in orange. Last but not least, the Apex Deck. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start building this thing. All that work making it look all pretty. Just for that. 10 seconds. You know, I wish a lot of other companies made more colors like Apex does. You guys are probably like, all your little kids at home are like, Walter only uses Apex. I love Apex. Jesse Bays, I love you. You're my boy. But like, Apex makes the good colors. It's not like crazy paints and whatnot. It's simple, bright colors. And a lot of the builds I do, that's what they need. I don't need like a neochrome deck to make a Joker build. You know, I need purple and green. Other companies out there, if you're watching this, make some simple colors. Be, be dope. Damn, I always forget how like good this grip tape is. All right, we got a nice 
beautiful full clean full deck. While I'm uh, doing this, I guess I can ask you guys, what is uh, your favorite, you know, superhero, villain movie, you know, what you like? You're DC fan, you're a Marvel fan, you know, what's yours? All right, I got the brake all on there and looking good. And since I'm already in the back, I might as well just throw on the back wheel. All right, look at that, Then This thing looks sick. So we got the back wheel on the beautiful deck. Now it's time to install the front end. Ooh, we might just need just one. I don't look too bad. Add a little bit of grease to this bolt just so it doesn't seize up or anything. Oh, what's this? I was like, what the heck is loose? I'm gonna take all these little clamp bolts out and grease them up just because it's the right thing to do. Seven hours later. Cool, so we got those installed. I guess I will install the front wheel. Yeah, we'll do the front wheel now. I just got the front wheel installed, the SCS clamp, everything's all greased up and good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these grips on, then the bar ends, and then the bars on this. One thing I'm gonna say now is this SCS runs oversized and standard bars. It comes with the clamp shim, but the bars are an aluminum handlebar, so it's gonna... What was that? You're not gonna need that clamp shim or anything. You just throw them on in there. Damn, look at that. That's sick. All right, got the grips installed. They're both on the same sides, perfect. The secret came out sick. One thing I'm gonna tell you guys about aluminum handlebars really quickly is the inside is gonna be a standard like size bar diameter and the outside is gonna be like an oversized bar diameter because it's an aluminum, it needs to be a little thicker to absorb the impact and everything like that. But they're still really light. So with that being said, it's the same thing for up here. Say you buy like regular ODI grips, these bars, won't be able to work with those ODI bar ends. These ones right here, they shrink down really, really tiny and these barely fit. So it actually worked out. I was only using these for the color, but it worked out that I'm using these because they work. Oh, this came out dope. Look at that. You guys wanna see more themed scooters like this? You know, feel free to let us know. Holla at me and I will make it work. Sorry, I didn't do that earlier. It bugs me if I don't do it. Cool, so we got the barns installed. This is gonna probably be the hard part. This is gonna be the hard part. Bolts are all greased up. When you tighten an SES, you tighten that one just enough to where you could feel that there's tension. You do that all the way down and then you go back up and then start keep doing that. So you never wanna fully tighten one all the way and then move down. One, that's how you warp your clamp. Two, that's how you break your clamp. Three, that's how you strip your clamp. Four, that's just not what you do. This came out a lot better than I thought. It really did. Cause I didn't think it was gonna come out this sick. Like I would clear, I would ride this. I like just black scooters. Some raw titanium bars are cool, but that's it. Like, but this I would honestly ride. I guess should I go ahead and do this drop test thing, right guys? Yeah, yeah. All right. Just like I thought it's pretty dialed. I mean, it had to be clearly like Joker build not dialed. Like what would that be? Actually, maybe it shouldn't be dialed though because it's like the Joker and he's like a villain and all that. Should I loosen some bolts? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna loosen it. Sounds like a thing of cans. Now let's go see what everybody else thinks about this, whoever's here today. I don't think we have that many people here today, but let's go, let's go check. That's a funky colorway, but it makes sense for the theme for sure. I dig it and you don't see white bars getting used very often either, so that's kind of cool too. Mm, yeah, they never get used. Yeah. Eight pounds evenly. Not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, that's tight, dude. It's light. It is, right? Yeah, this is sick. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it. All right, nice. you enjoy your day. You too, man. Not from. Well, no, you're not. Look at this scooter. Damn it. 
come back. I'd like that you actually did a good amount of purple to like match his suit. Thanks. Looks good. I know you're picky with colors and the way stuff looks. I mean, it's such a cluster of different colors, but they all work together. So good job. He hates me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is tight. It weighs like eight pounds. Eight pounds? Evenly, literally eight pounds. That's crazy. It looks great. All right, give me your joke or laugh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> that was the right call. That was the right call. There's no winning on that one. It is definitely the joke. I like it. Mike, what do you think about? It's a scooter. <laughs> Sounds good, I'm going back to the studio. As you guys saw, people had mixed emotions. Some people liked it, some people were like, eh. I love it. And I, if you guys loved it too, please let us know in the comments down below. We do read them and stuff like that. But that is it for today's video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on all of our social medias as well as me. Everything will be in the description below. And I think that's it, right? Oh, my YouTube channel will be in the description below too. Check that out, I'm dropping a vlog.